Hey guys, Super Japanime here, and today I will be reviewing this awesome First World Figures Boom 8 Sonic the Hedgehog figure series of Super Sonic. Um, he is a new release, just like um, the Amy Rose figurine that's been uh, recently released as well. I did do a review on her, I shall leave that at the end of the video for you guys to watch. Um, so today, yeah, we're going to go with Super Sonic, and um, I haven't got much merchandise of Super Sonic, so that's why I bought him, because he's a unique character, and yeah very scarce for merchandise. We're going to do once over on the box and then we're going to get him out and then we're going to show him off on the turntable. So as you can see at the front of the box here we have the usual Sonic Hedgehog logo. Um, on the side we have awesome artwork of Super Sonic, um, also displaying warning hazards and of choking and whatnot, small parts, um, and that this toy is not recommended for ages 15 and below. Um, you have the Sega logo here. On the other side, we just have more more warnings and notice that this is not a toy. This is a collectible piece for young adults. On the back here, we have some awesome artwork of the uh, character and the figurine side by side. And this is um, volume six. So yeah. Um, on the on the top here as well, we just have the Sonic Hedgehog logo. So, we've covered the box. Without further ado, let's show you guys what the figure looks like. Alright guys, we've got him out of the box now and we're going to showcase him on my turntable. The 360 view of him. We can show him off. Now, I will tell you guys as we uh, see him going round and round, um, the bit that's sticking out in there is um, obviously while he's uh, having a flying pose here, pretty awesome pose. Uh, Super Sonic does have a very fragile piece which is the stars coming from the back even though it's an awesome touch that will break quite easily and you need to be very careful when you get that out of the box so I'm just pointing it out there be very careful with this one very uh, fragile piece but apart from that guys I can't fault him he once again first world figures have done a phenomenal job with the paint job paint work and the, the, the pose and everything about him the characteristics uh, they've captured really well Super Sonic. Um, I absolutely love him. He's a really awesome figure. I can't fool him. Um, as you can see, they've done like a see-through plastic stand on the black base there, um, sort of giving the impression that he is floating or flying through the air or powering through a Sonic the Hedgehog level. And yeah, it is a great figure, guys. I've just cannot recommend it enough for you to go and buy it. Um, I got this off from the uh, Sega Shop UK online for £20 and uh, yeah, recent release so yeah, go out and buy it guys. So we're going to stop the turntable right there and now we're going to go in for a better view. So as you can see on the base we have the Sonic Hedgehog logo, Sega logo and uh, all that's reserved, whatever limited. Um, Get a closer look on the stars coming from the back. They look really cool. I do love it. I love the colour shading of the uh, figurine itself. I love the pose of his hands there. Fist, uh, you know. Quite a serious expression on Sonic's face. Pretty cool. I love how he done the spikes. They've done a great job on the uh, shoe buckle there. Great shape of the spikes at the back here. Really fantastic job. And uh, yes, I cannot fault it. I'm really impressed with uh, First World Figures. They are a fantastic company. So yeah, that is Super Sonic, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I will do a comparison of Amy Rose figurine and Super Sonic side by side. So you guys can have a look. And for just the sake of it, I will turn the turntable on so you can see them go around together. See how awesome they are. You can see Sonic is a little bit more longer, hence because he's flying and whatnot, but yeah. Very nice figurines. 100% recommend them. Captured every aspect of the characters really well. Right, well, that is it for the review, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions about these figurines, feel free to ask in the comments down below. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more reviews very soon.